Hi guys and girls, this is Vicky from Tales from the Trails. This is the first of hopefully many Q&A videos. If, yeah, if you've got a question, send it in to me. There will be instruction in this video. And let's get started. Alex has asked a question. Thank you, Alex, by the way. Um, what is your favourite part or scene in Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2? So, if we have to include Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, Two, which you know, a part which features both of those games. I'm gonna have to say Beach's Hope, or <clears throat> excuse me, or anything to do with. Looks like the Pinkertons as well. I mean, the Pinkertons were in the Red Dead Redemption One as well. Um, but I like how you know John builds up Beach's Hope. I do like that because it is pretty much at the beginning of Red Dead Redemption. So, Cat89 has asked, what is your favourite breed of horse in this game? I don't particularly have a favourite breed per se, but I have a favourite type of horse in the game, and that is the work type. Simply because it's decent enough all-round horse, good for hunting as well, so yeah, that, I just like work type horses, so that's either the Appaloosa or the Paint Horses. Libby Strong has asked a question, do you still play online, and if you do, what do you think of it? I am very much in love with the story mode. I haven't completely finished it by far, and I will go for a second playthrough after I do. But I am playing with the thought to have a look into um, online one one of these days, just to play as a female for once. Lol, lol. Um, by the way, I'm from Netherlands, 55 year old female, and crazy about playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Well, firstly, there's nothing wrong with being a 55-year-old female from the Netherlands playing Red Dead Redemption 2. There's nothing wrong with that at all, which is brilliant. I mean, it, it is a game for everyone, literally, because you can play the way you want to. Um, back to the original question, which I got sidetracked from already, is do I still play online? I, I do, kind of. I mean, I've started playing it more since the 1.09 update because they have updated the... How other players see you on the map and the way when people kill people it's handled in the game it, it, i can't explain it very well but they've improved it so much and not everybody sees you on the map they don't hit hone in on you as a, a target oh we'll go kill that person they look fun they don't do that anymore i mean the last time i played there were so many amazing people and they just help you out. Like if there's a random encounter, like an ambush by the M <clears throat> by the NPCs, people just help you out. It is it's a it's night and day to how it was. So I do recommend giving it a you know giving online a go. I mean I'm only level fifteen. I'm I'm not very far into it all myself, but it's definitely a lot more enjoyable now than it was. So yeah, I, I will give it a go. I mean especially at the minute. Um, I don't know what it is like outside the UK. But until the 27th of May, they're giving free access to the online game. Now it's out of beta. So there you go. Give it a go. Hunter Boozer. Boozer? I hope I got your name right. Hunter Boozer. That's how it looks. Um, if you ever complete everything in Red Dead Redemption 2, would you play other games on this channel? Well, I don't think anyone will ever complete everything in Red Dead Redemption 2 simply because of the online content. However, um, I, I do play all the games anyway. It's uh, I'd like to put more content from other games and random things as well. So yeah, why not? You know, don't have a problem with it myself. If you don't want to watch it, you don't watch it. You know, it's, it's completely free to watch YouTube, well, my channel anyway. So yeah, I don't have a problem playing other games. I fall out. Minecraft, obviously, I used to have another channel years ago, <laughs> years and years ago. Um, there was like a group of us um, playing Minecraft. Um, yeah, Fallout 76, Fallout 4. I don't know where I'm looking, the camera's over there, but I'm looking at the red dot over there. Um, I'm trying to think. I've got loads of Lego movies, Lego movies, Lego games, um, PC games. We've got the HTV. HTV. HTC Vive as well. I mean, <laughs> trying to get a complete room set up for that thing, that is just annoying, let's say, because life gets in the way. But yeah, I don't mind even 
doing those type of games. Got loads of them, so yeah, I have no problem whatsoever. Excuse me, picking my nose, and yeah, I don't mind doing other games. But you know, I don't think anyone will ever complete Red Dead Redemption Two. So you'll get people saying, "I finished the game," blah blah blah, and then you'll say something like, "Oh, how long did it take you to hunt all the parakeets in the the in the swamp to extinction?" They'll go, "What? You've not completed the game." You know, I mean, how long did it take you to find all the animals for the taxidermist in Valentine? And did you manage to get the squirrel, the little John squirrel? It's, it's amazing anyway. And remember to put it on your mantelpiece, you know, the fireplace at Beaches Hope. You have to do that. There's so much to the game. Yeah, you might have completed the, the story, let's say. But n no, you won't complete your Dead Redemption team. There's too much to it. Um, I, I've not seen anyone with 100% completion. I'm at 87 point. 6% I think on the first playthrough but even when the story's complete you've not completed the game <laughs> it's impossible it's brilliant that's why that is why Tulazor has asked the question how old are you? I'm 34 <laughs> that's it <laughs> TC has asked the question how do you edit your videos share factory YouTube or third-party computer software because I like the video thumbnails you make and fonts you use well <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I upload my videos direct from the PlayStation, either the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation Pro to YouTube. Um, but I mark them as private, so they're not published. From there, I will... Wait, it depends upon what room of the house I'm in. I mean, I'm mainly... I shouldn't be because, you know, I'm a computer scientist by <laughs> qualification. I tend to use Mac a lot because they're really easy to use and I can't be arsed with PCs anymore. Uh, apart from when it comes to VR stuff and they're absolutely fantastic for that. Um, but um, if I'm using the PC, I'll use Premiere Pro for my editing. It's very long-winded and yeah, you can do everything in it, but it's, no, it's not very good. Well, it is good, but uh, there's too many steps involved to do the same thing as what you can do on a Mac. So I tend to use iMovie um, if I'm on the Mac, the iMac or the MacBook Pro, whatever I've got. <laughs> and, um, <clears throat> as the thumbnails go, I don't use a computer at all for those. I literally use an iPhone. Um, what I will do is I will try and take, well, I'll wait for the, the video to fully render in 1080p on YouTube. I'll play it back on my phone, which is the iPhone X. I'll play back on that, um, take a screenshot, because the resolution is incredible on that thing. No, it's 1080p, the iPhone X, I think. Anyway, back to the point. Um, I use a, I paid for the software, it's called Typerama. You need to look it up, it's useful, yeah. The fonts are amazing. They're easy, simple. Why bother with heartache? Why bother, bother with, like, <sighs> making things harder than they are? I don't need it, it's only a thumbnail. It's only it looks pretty, got the content, tells you what it is. Where's the problem? So yeah, there you go, I either use, if, if I'm using a PC, I use Premiere Pro. If I am using a Mac, either upstairs or in another room in the office somewhere, I'll use iMovie, really simple to use, don't need to dick around with anything. Um, and then, just for the thumbnails, type around simple as that. Mr. Death Sir has asked a question. If Rockstar asked you what DLC you would want, what would it be? I have heard as to what we're going to be getting now, and I'm probably going to be making another video on that. Um, it, it's going to be good, I can tell you that much. It's going to be very, very good. Um, but if they ask me what I wanted, and it's going to be really simple. Obviously, you can't change the story mode in any way, shape or form, because the context of the whole game will change, and probably affect the first game, the first Red Dead Redemption as well, the second of the Red Dead games. But if DLC content which isn't online, um, more challenges, I mean, in more go fine. Red Dead Redemption 1 had like a legendary jackalope you had to find, you had to find Sasquatch. I know it was something to do with the online, but you didn't play online if you had, didn't have to. So there's that, you can have content like that, but I really would like some more horses. It's all about the horses for me, I'm sorry. More coat colours, more realistic coat colours. Or just more coat colours associated with the breeds, what you already have in the game. That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. 
Sugar 825, what do you look like? Strange question, I know, but it's something that I've wondered. You sound like such a nice person and I would like to see what you look like. I look like this. Hi. Hawkey Parrot has asked the question, I've been trying to remember where I've seen a wild Belgian draft horse taming. Um, I think it's your channel, but I can't seem to see it. If it's really you, can you please show me the links? It's not me, I'm sorry, and and there is no wild Belgian draft horse at all in the game. I'll finish it off. Um, if it's not you, can you find this wild Belgian draft horse? It's fun if we really able to get very wild draft horse. That's what that's what it says here. Um, there is no wild Belgian draft horse in the game at all. Chances are the video you saw is not mine. I know it's not mine. Um, Chances are it was at a camp, the, the player recording the content probably killed the camp person, the horse ran away, I mean some camp horses are the Belgian draft, some are suffer punches as well, and it's run away, it doesn't have a tack, it doesn't have um, a saddle or a halter or you know anything like that on its face, because sometimes they don't in the game, and he's made this video to look like it's a wild horse, no, it, there is no wild Belgian draft horse in the game, I'm sorry. But. Powder Hound has asked a question. Vicky, thanks for all the content you produced. Your love for this game shines through. And have you ever gotten more from a single game? That's a very good question. Um, since the last Red Dead Redemption, um, the only game that really, to my imagination, was um, Fallout 4, I think. Um, many, many hours on that game. Many, many, many hours on that game. And, but, I mean, it's different, different genre completely. Um, I mean, the only similar game, I mean, GTA 5, yeah, that was great. Um, but I got really bored of that, really quickly, actually. A very bad online experience with that game as well. Um, let me think. Minecraft, I've, I've played many, many, many years of, years, actually years, hours, but it is turned to years as well. Um, this type of game, probably the third Red Dead Redemption, um, would be the answer, I think. Well, that concludes our first Q&A session. Thank you very much. And if your question hasn't been answered, don't worry, I do have it. There will be another section of um, videos for Q&As. If you can't comment to leave your uh, future question, future question, is that a thing? If you can't comment to leave your question, don't worry, there will be another video available, you know, where you can comment below to, if you've got any questions for me, so you can just drop them in there. Um, this little guy <laughs> needs our new mascot, say our. He's my little mascot. He... Hello. Oh, you're on the camera. Okay. He's literally on the camera. Hold on. There he is. This is Tiny Rick. <laughs> He's my little budgie. You're going back on the camera, aren't you? Nope, oh, you're there. Okay. Well, there we go. He says hi. He's on my head now. He's got an obsession, it's weird. You stay there. <laughs> well, there you go. Again, if you've got any more questions, drop them in the comments below and I will be doing future Q&As. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And if you don't already, please subscribe.